Okay, guys, like I predicted earlier, Diddy has been denied bail by the judge. I read to you the full letter. I read the indictment on um, the full indictment on a live stream. And then I read the exclusive arguments, the, the letter that the U S district attorney's office actually, um, presented or, uh, <clears throat> submitted to the judge as to why Diddy should not have bail and to keep him locked up to and through the trial, which we don't know when that can be. The trial can take years because they are still collecting evidence. They are still trying to find co-conspirators there. It is right now. I believe there's over 90 witnesses, over 90 witnesses and victims that I read that was in that, um, that motion. But I may be getting to a few more details, but let's get into this. It says judge refuses to grant bail to Diddy, to Sean Diddy Combs orders him sent to jail while he awaits his, I'm not going to say either one of these words because it keeps getting me demonetized. Uh, so it says Sean Diddy Combs faces federal, um, traffic and racketeering charges in an indictment unsealed today, claiming he hit and abused women for over a decade and presided over a sordid empire of ex crimes. The judge denied Combs bail and ordered him to be sent to jail while awaiting trial. Okay. So there's not much to it, but let me see what else the judge said. Judge says she has significant concerns about Combs substance abuse and deciding to deny Combs bail. Tarnovsky said she has very significant concerns about Combs substance abuse and what appears to be anger issues. Tarnovsky said she considered alternatives, but doesn't think it's sufficient because of so much of what's alleged behind, uh, what happened behind closed doors. So there we have it. He is denied this. And again, let me pull up, let me show you guys this. I read this entire thing earlier, but this is the letter. This is what there, it is a lot more evidence, a lot more information than what's in the indictment, which Damian Williams, the U S attorney actually said in his press conference. So I, was able to get this, obtain this information so that I can bring it to you guys. But there are, there's so much alleged in here. I want to show you right here. And then we're going to get to Diddy's lawyer, of course, denying it. And he's basically even trying to make it like Cassie is the only witness really, sir. So they're just trying to spin a narrative, but it says here as to witness, I, and I may have got the number wrong, but there's other victims there's other numbers mentioned in here. It says as to witness to date, as to witnesses to date, the government has conducted interviews with over 50 victims and witnesses, many of whom saw or experienced the defendant's abuse. But, and they've also, look, they've seized over 90 cell phones, laptops, and cloud storage accounts, as well as over 30 other electronic and storage devices, such as hard drives, thumb drives, cameras, and surveillance systems. So that's just part of what's what they have on him. But here... Um, finally, the evidence includes records obtained, uh, pursuant to over 300 grand jury subpoenas and other volunteer productions. These materials come from over 100 entities and individuals, including communications providers, tech companies, social media companies, banks, and other financial institutions, airlines, hotels, car services, and other travel related companies, escort services, and even the defendants companies and wealth management firm. Um, and so it goes into, there is a number, it was 90 something. I got, I got to go over it. It was so much that I read in here. I would have to go through it, but they're trying to say that there's, oh, it's just, he's, it's just Cassie. In fact, let me play what this ridiculous man had to say. Afraid. He's not afraid of the charges. There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. He's been looking forward to this day. He's afraid. He's not afraid of the charges. There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. He's been looking forward to this day. He's been looking forward to clearing his name and he's going to clear his name. Uh, and we're going to stand by his side as, as he does. We believe in him wholeheartedly. Um, he didn't do these things. This was a 10 year relationship. There's no coercion. There's no crime. There's basically just you know, so someone who brought a civil case and now uh, is, is finding themselves as a, wit a witness in a, in a criminal case. And we're going to fight this case uh, with everything we have, as is he. And eventually he's going to be shown to be innocent. Um, and so tomorrow we fight again 
and we fight, we'll fight every day until we don't have to fight anymore. Why did you think the happened last night instead of today as planned? Uh, I, I don't know. I, the question is why did it happen last night instead of today? I, I don't know, know the answer to that question. We, 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 I just want to make one point very clear. We, 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 we have no power. All we can do is show good faith. He got on a plane and he came here. And if he stayed here for one day before the case started or for one year before the case started, he was going to stay as long as he needed to stay. It ends up being only 12 days. That's fine. That's what the government wanted to do. The government didn't want him to turn himself in. He came here to turn himself in. Why doesn't the government want him to turn himself in? Because then they can't ask for detention. So they go and they arrest him. They arrest a the guy who came to New York to turn himself in. But we are going to make all these points again again tomorrow, and we'll make them as much as we can until we get them out. So that's all I have. Tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wait, what was the question? We're appealing. We're appealing. Yeah, we're no bail. No bail. He's detained. No, we're, we're appealing it. Oh, I'm sorry. We are we're appealing the, the the decision to hold him without bail. When's the next here? Tomorrow at 3:30. 3.30, same place. Will he be here? Bail appeal. Bail appeal. Bail appeal tomorrow at 3.30, same courtroom. Different judge. He's, he's, doing, he's doing fine. He's a fighter. He's a fighter, and he's going to fight this. All right, I'm going to go. Thank, thank. I, I, I don't get into that stuff. Okay. Probably not good to mention he's a fighter when we've seen him beating Cassie down on that video and all the crimes alleged. Now, this lawyer is a real snake here because he's trying to say it's just one person, it's just one thing and all that. Guys, I've read not only the, indi the full indictment, cover to cover, I read, again, I showed you guys this right here. When I said, this isn't even a, a touch the evidence. When I tell you there's multiple witness, witnesses, multiple victims, things that have nothing to do with Cassie at all, nothing to do with it. He has co-conspirators. They're all of the, he actually witnessed intimidation had nothing to do with Cassie. They have recordings of witness intimidation. Like, so again, what you're hearing from this lawyer is a bunch of spin. If you want the details of this, which I may do another video just to do some highlights because the live stream is about an hour and something. But if you want to get it from cover to cover and the full information, you're going to want to watch the live stream of more details. This is way more details than the actual indictment. This is what he's trying to fight against. This is what he's trying to appeal against tomorrow. And why I have said from the beginning, the moment I saw those charges, that man is not getting bail. The le okay, guys. He has multiple charges and multiple things. So multiple acts of bribery, multiple acts of kidnapping, multiple acts of uh, traffic. I'm not going to say the things. Multiple acts of of, of um, narcotics distribution. We're going to say it like, like, and the lowest, okay, say so you have multiple acts under one thing, right? The lowest that one act, the lowest act, of a charge, okay, right? So maybe he's charged with bribery. I'm not saying that's the lowest charge, but let's say it was. Bribery was the lowest charge, but he has multiple acts in that. Just one act of the bribery, right? And this is hypothetical, but the sentence is not. This is confirmed in this letter. The, the lowest he could possibly get in prison right now, if he's indicted just on one of the lowest acts, is a mandatory 15 uh, year sentence, mandatory, mandatory minimum of 15 years. He's also facing multiple life sentences for these char different charges. So the t let's, if, let's say he only gets hit, he only gets, um, uh, when he goes to trial, he only gets found guilty of, he's only found guilty of one crime, right? And let's say it's the lowest crime and it's only one act of the crime. It's a mandatory minimum of 15 years. So he is facing a mandatory minimum of 15 years, but we're not into, I mean, that's like the lowest, that's the lowest hanging fruit. There's so many other charges that are just egregious, astronomical. It's insane. And it is not just based on Cassie. They're putting out some information about that, but there's other details, other witnesses. Like I said, um, over 50 plus there's there all the different evidence. They have all the tapes. There's just so much to hit him with. The narcotics charges alone will put this man away in prison for life. So I'm going to try, maybe I'll try to do a quick video to just kind of highlights all of this and give people more detail so they can know exactly what's going on outside of just the indictment. So you can have more information, but I wanted to bring this to you guys. I haven't even eaten. This is the moment I woke up. It's been diddy, diddy, diddy. 
Oh God, I don't want to see that. Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm tired. With that guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. No bail. They're back at court tomorrow as they try to appeal it. This, this lawyer is being a lawyer and talking nonsense with that. I will see you in the next one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, bye.